Hello and welcome to this presentation on Bounce Back, Reclaim Your Health. Yes, that's right. We want to help you bounce back from anxiety and depression. My name is Angel Delacio and I work for the Canadian Mental Health Association of Champlain East and representing the Canadian Mental Health Association of Ontario. Uh, so this program is a provincial program and it is uh, in partnership with CMHA Ontario, but funded by the government of Ontario. So here we go. What is Bounce Back exactly? Well, Bounce Back is a uh, CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy based program that has been adopted here in Corn, um, in Ontario, Cornwall, in Ontario since 2017. The program was first developed by Dr. Chris Williams, who is a psychiatrist and medical doctor in Scotland. Uh, in 2008, British Columbia heard of this program and adopted it in their province. So they were officially the first province to roll this out for free uh, to people living in their province. Uh, so that's 2008, so we're well over a decade now and they're doing extremely well. The program is still operational 13 years later. Uh, so Ontario heard about it in 2015. We piloted the program and since 2017 have been offering services to people like you in the province of Ontario who wish to participate. The good news is, is that uh, since then, the program has, and this number is actually a little bit higher now, this program, uh, primary care providers, over 9,000 of them are now referring to the Bounce Back program. And, all, and that this number has changed as well. Over 50,000 um, clients, actually closer to 55,000, have now enrolled and completed the program. So it's doing quite well. And recently the, uh, the government has funded additional uh, expansions to support those struggling with challenges related to COVID. So if that sounds like you, if you're feeling low, feeling um, anxious or feeling stressed, then bounce back may just be right for you. So who is this program for? Some client considerations. Um, Anyone who's got worry, whether it be mild, moderate, um, anyone who's struggling with their mood, um, anyone who has elevated stress levels in their lives. And I think during the pandemic, I can with certainty say that's probably the majority of us. So yes, with or without a diagnosis of anxiety or depression, you can participate and build skills. Oftentimes people will enroll in a program like this based in cognitive behavior therapy due to long-term stressors. So maybe financial stress, maybe uh, job loss, financial strain, um, chronic illness. So the bullying, if you're a young person, bullying, or if you're just starting to experience symptoms of anxiety or depression, this may be a good starting point for you. You must be 15 years of age and older to participate. Um, and people use it as self-management. So I'd love to say, you know, anyone interested in this who wants to try this program simply for the fact of building skills and improving on their mental health can do so. Uh, it's also while waiting for other services. We recognize that there can be some longer wait times for some services in mental health. This could be the bridge between waiting for those supports. So our program, you don't wait longer than 20 days. On a, we aim for five days, but in the pandemic, we've had uh, uh, some longer wait times, up to three weeks, but that is significantly less than most uh, services in mental health at the moment. So again, while you're waiting, I'm not saying don't apply for those services, but also apply to bounce back as a way to support you in that transition period. If you're al already receiving those services from a psychologist, uh, a psychiatrist, a mental health professional, this can complement that existing program. This can be above and beyond what you're already doing. Or maybe you are exiting a program. Maybe uh, you've received all that you can receive out of a service, but you're not quite ready to be on your own bounce back may be right for you. Most importantly, it really comes down to your, your level of motivation. Are you ready 
to make changes in your life to improve your mental health and well being. That's what it comes down to. And if the answer is yes, then we have two different programs we can offer you. One is the coaching and workbooks. You would need a referral for this service. Um, and you can find that referral form on our website at bouncebackontario.ca. Or you can simply speak to your doctor, primary care um, provider, nurse practitioner, psychiatrist, and they easily can refer you into this program. Like I said, over 9,000 physicians are now referring in the province and they probably have heard of this program. Nonetheless, if they have not heard of Bounce Back, you could share this with them and with a simple search on their e-referral can easily refer you. Um, as well, if you're not quite ready for that one-on-one -on -one coaching support, you can access Bounce Back Today online videos. All you need is the access code, which I will be providing very shortly. And our workbooks that look something like this um, have been developed into three to five minute videos. You can access those online um, and without a, a referral. No doctor necessary, just sign in and watch the um, CBT based videos in multiple languages. So Bounce Back offers the, the most popular program or the, the most popular approach would be number one which is receiving telephone coaching support with the aid of our workbooks that are mailed directly to you at no cost. So how it works, you choose from a variety of topics to help support your needs. Um, our short formats, which are these, uh, we have 12 topics. In addition, we have our longer formats. Oh, sorry, I've got a background, so sometimes you can't see that. These longer formats, uh, they, we have about 20 different topics and they're really divided into core anxiety and core depression. Um, so if you're interested on the first assessment call, we go over what this program is about. We let you know um, the criteria, what you can expect. And if you are still interested after that initial call, we then get started on some additional sessions and we mail you the workbooks. Keep in mind that our program is offered in a variety of languages, including Spanish, French, Farsi, Arabic, Mandarin, um, and other languages as well. And the materials of the languages you see on your screen have also been translated in print. Participants can receive up to six telephone sessions and typically complete the program within three to six months. I keep referring to a bounce back coach and that is um, on purpose. I don't refer to them as counselors because they are not counselors and I want to manage expectations. So coaches are there to assist the participant with skill development, motivate you, monitor your progress, provide that progress report so you feel empowered and you feel motivated to continue with the self-help program. Um, what you do need to know, though, is that our coaches are extensive, extensively trained in mental health. Uh, they also receive um, knowledge around the therapeutic approach in cognitive behavior therapy. Uh, they are overseen by clinical psychologists and have access to them at any given time during a coaching call. And they also receive additional training in LGBTQ sensitivity, trauma-informed care, um, they also are able to create safety plans with you and assess for risk. But the primary care provider, your doctor, nurse practitioner, psychiatrist, still needs to be clinically responsible for you. Should your needs uh, no longer be met with this program and we need to refer you uh, to other services, we would then need to do that through your primary care provider. We do not do a direct referral. We would let your doctor know that this program is no longer meeting your needs, put it on hold and then your doctor would be responsible for referring you should more intensive services be needed throughout your journey. So we have youth booklets, we have our short booklets and we have our long format. Basically the youth booklets have just modified the language to meet uh, the needs of our, our younger people. Um, talks a lot about technology and friendships and um, things that they may be more inclined uh, to, to be dealing with. Um, 
So things like self-esteem, um, anxiety, breathing techniques, uh, how to fix almost everything, which is a problem solving approach. And then of course we have our long format books, which we have uh, over 20 topics here. And again, these are, are very specific to anxiety and depression. So I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but we have a letter A and a letter D identified on the workbook. Um, and those let you know that if you're struggling with anxiety, this may be a good workbook for you to manage those symptoms or depression, you would then choose from our selection of depression core book, uh, workbooks. So the topics here, you can see noticing extreme and unhelpful thinking, understanding worry and stress, facing fears and overcoming avoidance, which is a really good one during the pandemic and a popular one, overcoming sleep problems, being more assertive. We actually even have a workbook uh, to help your families help you. So information for families to support you and be of support while you go through the bounce back journey. And our short formats, they can be read within 10 minutes. Very clear and precise tips to the point, large print. Um, so it really depends on how much time you want to invest in this. Um, perhaps the severity of your, your symptoms. If you're coming into this program simply for knowledge, you may prefer the short format booklets. If you're looking to build skills, if you're coming into this with mild to moderate symptoms of anxiety and depression, you may prefer our long formats, which have more exercises um, and more exploration for you to do. So if you take a look inside one of our booklets, um, this is a youth booklet, but it's also available in our short format. A uh, very popular workbook, 10 things you can do right away to feel happier. Um, so again, it lists the 10 things you can do and then every page is one suggestion after another and how to incorporate these things into your life. So it's not simply a matter of providing you a list. It's a matter of saying, okay, encouraging you to get outside more. Why should you do that? And how can you start incorporating that? And then the bonus is your coach is gonna phone you in two weeks and you're gonna review these materials together. And if you were stuck and didn't understand one of the concepts, they can provide some feedback, they can provide some guidance and some suggestions for you. So the combination of the self-help workbooks and the coaching support is where all the magic happens. So a typical bounce back participant journey is anywhere from three to six sessions, but on average four. Um, so you're not obligated to complete six sessions. Uh, you can enter the program, get your first set of workbooks and feel like you've gotten enough out of the program and choose to end the program. You are completely in control of the topics, the conversation with the coach, and how many sessions you participate in. It's really completely up to you. That's why it's called self-help. Um, but you can go up to eight sessions. So six sessions are provided. And if you choose to request the additional booster sessions, these are great because we can do a follow-up call a month, two months, three months down the road to, you know, to just check in with you to see how are you doing? Are you still applying the skills? It's kind of a, like a quick check-in and people really do appreciate that. It keeps them on track, keeps them accountable. So again, first session is simply an assessment. Every two to three weeks, your coach will call you. We will provide additional workbooks every couple of weeks if you choose to do so. And we can end the journey at any point. So how can you access the program and who can access the program? Uh, so we do, not try, we do not try to duplicate services. This program was specifically created to meet a need in our communities um, and particularly in our province. Um, so we, there were not many services to meet the needs of prevention or mild to moderate symptoms. So this is why Bounce Back has been funded by the government of Ontario to help you hopefully get ahead of your symptoms before they become chronic. Uh, so who can enroll at Bounce Back 
uh, Ontario, anyone who's in the mild to moderate range, and you will be asked to answer a questionnaire. We call this a PHQ-9, which is the questionnaire that is used to, um, to evaluate the severity of depression symptoms. So anything between zero and 21 would qualify you for this program. Uh, anything above that, uh, we would consider on the severe end of the spectrum and would redirect you to a more appropriate service, like the Canadian Mental Health Association or other community-based programs. The online videos are very engaging, short, to the point, um, with real people who have used these um, workbooks, who have provide, provided some, um, some video uh, testimonials and, and examples of how they applied it to their life. So some examples are building confidence, increasing more activity in your life to feel better, uh, again, problem solving, healthy living, um, and again, those videos have been translated in multiple languages, including French, Arabic, Farsi, Mandarin, Punjabi. So this, this program aims to be extremely low barrier. And when I say low barrier, you don't have to leave your house. You don't have to go see your doctor. You just have to have a doctor. You can refer online. The books are mailed to you at no cost. Your coach is provided to you at no cost. What more can you ask for? And if you don't speak English or French and prefer to have a coach in your first language, such as Punjabi or Mandarin, then that is available as well. And of course, we have no wait times. So we've tried to remove every barrier possible to accessing service. The question, the big question, I guess, is, well, why should I do this? Does it even work? The answer is, for those experienced symptoms of anxiety and depression, it absolutely works. In fact, from those who participated in the program from 2017 to 2020, what we, the, the post survey, what the progress report showed is that those who completed the program saw a decrease in their depressive symptoms and anxiety symptoms by about 43%, almost half of their symptoms. So that is what I think that's significant. And I think that's why the good government continues to fund this program because we can show that it's effective and it works. What are people saying about the bounce back program? Well, in a satisfaction survey, participants said that they would recommend bounce back to a friend or family member. 93% of people had said that. 94% said the workbooks were extremely easy to read and helpful, which is true. They, um, the average uh, reading level is about grade four uh, to participate in this program. And 95% actually liked receiving the service by telephone, which is why they continue to participate in it. I have been asked on occasion, is this service available through texting? through live chat, online, and the answer is no, not at this current time. Not to say we won't explore that in the future. The phone, the, the program has been designed to offer telephone coaching support, and that is the only format that it is available in currently. Some of the participant stories. So who can participate? Who has benefited? We've, we've had many participants over the years, including Danielle. Um, now I'm not sharing her real name, uh, but this is her real experience. We had a 17 year old student who was in her final year of high school, really anxious about starting post-secondary in the fall, felt very intimidated, um, had a hard time asserting herself, often would avoid conflicts with peers, feels insecure, nervous, overwhelmed about starting university in the fall. Understandable. How has Bounce Back helped someone like Danielle? Well, Danielle has learned to face situations and conversations that once made her feel uncomfortable by breaking down her fears and tackling them one by one. We also help Danielle notice unhelpful thinking patterns that influenced her relationship with her peers. We helped her with practice, assert herself in group projects, 
and gave her mock scenarios to practice. Overcoming her fear of speaking over the phone with people and with people um, she's unfamiliar with was really also very beneficial. So this is a youth who benefited from the program. We've also had uh, individuals with chronic, uh, physical chronic pain. Uh, we've had moms, dads, new parents, um, caregivers, working people, you know, people who are working through this pandemic and trying to juggle the challenges of a pandemic uh, and, and online learning for their children. Uh, there isn't many situations, stressors that we cannot manage through a program like Bounce Back. We really do have something for almost everyone. So you are 15 years of age and older, you are experiencing no symptoms or symptoms in the mild to moderate range. Uh, you are not actively suicidal, not diagnosed with a personality disorder or not experiencing acute mania or psychosis. Typically, if none of those are present, um, then you would qualify for the program. Not to say there isn't help for individuals with personality disorders, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. This program, this type of therapy, cognitive behavior therapy, isn't the therapeutic uh, approach of choice for managing those particular symptoms. We would probably redirect you to a more intensive program, again, usually community-based through your hospital or community like the Can Canadian Mental Health Association. But again, we've had clients with diagnosis of bipolar disorder, for example, who have a handle on their symptoms and are managing very well, who have enrolled in this program and have done quite well. So it's really not about the diagnosis per se, but more about are you able to engage with the materials, engage in the coaching sessions, follow through, how is your concentration, you know, are you in crisis? If you're in crisis, this probably isn't the best program uh, for someone experiencing a crisis situation. Again, it's really self-help. Uh, so that's really what we want to make sure that people are aware. So you can go directly online, self-refer. This form will uh, appear. You will say that you are a, you'll choose the second option. I am an individual interested in the Bounce Back program. Fill out your information to the best of your ability. Let us know who your doctor is and provide us his contact or her contact information. Your mailing address, complete the questionnaire and, and click submit. It takes about five minutes. And within five to 21 business days, I like to give you a range there so you're not um, disappointed if we don't call right away or you are not expecting an immediate call back. Um, you will receive a call. We make three attempts to contact you by phone. If we do not hear from you and you provided an email, we will email you letting you know we've tried to reach you. Um, but after three attempts, we usually close the file. You would have to reapply for services in the future. Alternatively, you can speak to your doctor, nurse practitioner, or psychiatrist and ask them to refer you directly through their EMR system. EMR electronic uh, referral system. So this is what our website looks like. We have a COVID-19 section. We have a, our adult section, our youth section, our care provider or professionals section. Um, so all your, question, all your questions can be answered there. Um, so there's lots of information and, and handouts for you to access. So some of our common questions that are asked by participants, if I don't want to involve my doctor, my nurse practitioner, can I still participate in this program? Unfortunately, the answer at this time is no. The way the funding is set up is that you are receiving coaching support alongside the workbooks. So to provide, to, to access both the workbooks and the coaching, you do need to have access to a family doctor or primary care provider. If you do not have a primary care provider, we would encourage you to access your nearest walk-in clinic and ask if that doctor or nurse practitioner would follow you through this bounce back journey. 
as long as someone is taking on clinical responsibility, and unfortunately that cannot be a social worker at this time, it has to be only the individuals that we have identified, which is family doctor, nurse practitioner, or psychiatrist. They're not really involved in this process other than receiving reports on your behalf of your progress. And should something go wrong or you require more services, we have someone to communicate with. It's really just a safety protocol that we have in place to ensure that you get the best possible service. Uh, you do not need an Ontario health card to participate. So if you're a student um, from out of province or uh, out of country for that matter, but you live in, in Ontario, you can access simply by having an, um, you can access this program without a health card by providing us your postal code in Ontario. So that is not a requirement of the program. You just have to live in Ontario and you have to have a primary care provider. Again, not counseling, just to manage your expectations, coaching support. So think of them as your personal trainer, um, your, your mental health trainer, so to speak. Like at a gym, if we provided you a personal trainer, they would teach you about the equipment, they'd prepare a plan for you, they'd help you execute that plan so that you're successful, and they would monitor your progress. Like a gym, your bounce back coach will do the same thing. They will explain the materials to you. They will provide a plan. They will help support you with that plan and they will monitor your progress and provide you motivation. That's how I would like you to imagine the bounce back program. Okay. Medication is not, um, whether you're on medication or not, um, anybody can access this program. Uh, so really, it's the criteria that we talked about earlier, must be 15, must have a doctor, mild to moderate symptoms, or no symptoms. And yes, uh, a caregiver can assess, uh, can assist you in your coaching journey. Uh, so if you're a youth and you'd like a parent to assist you, that isn't a problem, you just have to let your coach know. If you're an older adult um, participating in the program and you would like, let's say, your caregiver, your spouse to help you, um, you feel more comfortable with that, then that is absolutely an option. So if you go on our website, you will see that we have many, many languages, including Tamil, Russian, um, Portuguese, and many other languages. So when we say that, many of our materials have been printed in that language. Um, if you're not comfortable speaking in French or in English, you can request the language of your choice and we will match you up with a coach that speaks that language. Some workbooks are only available in, um, in certain languages. Uh, so you have to make that request verbally with a coach. And our hours are extremely flexible. 8 a.m., 8 p.m., and then every other weekend as well, uh, with the exception of Sundays. We do not offer services on Sundays, but Saturdays are an option if you choose to do so. If you're an early bird, you can book the first session. If you're a parent and want to wait till your children are in bed, you can access our services in the evening and again on the weekends. So extremely flexible and accessible. Here's how you can contact us. If you haven't heard from us within 21 days, I would encourage you to call the toll-free number or email referrals, and they can look up your referral to find out what happened. Um, and maybe, maybe it hasn't been processed yet, and that can be uh, communicated with you. If you are a business or an organization or a mental health support, and you would like to offer promotional materials to your clients to promote this program, we can ship that out to you at no cost by emailing us at Bounce Back Ontario. And again, visit our website because there's tons of information that I didn't even share with you today available on our website, bouncebackontario.ca. So if there's no other questions, I will say good night and thank you for being part of this presentation on Bounce Back Reclaim Your Health.